Hello, this message is for our entire Vandal family, our students, our faculty, staff, alumni, and friends. I've said before, you never really know how strong a family is until it has been tested. Well, we have been tested this year, but in many ways, this has been the Vandal family's finest hour. I would much rather be sharing the state of the university with you in person, but unfortunately, events this year make that impossible. Despite our challenges, we have much for which we can be grateful and proud. We have addressed our budget issues head on and made sacrifices to move this institution forward. COVID-19 has required us to take measures we never imagined just a few short months ago. Ensuring our Vandal family is healthy and safe is first and foremost, and we rose to the challenge. We now have over 4,000 classes being taught online, and through the extraordinary efforts from our faculty and staff, we will finish the semester and graduate the class of 2020. Our disappointment is profound knowing that we will not have our capstone commencement events around the state this spring. I will spend some time talking about how we have worked to overcome some of our challenges, but then I want to talk about where we are headed. Vandals are nothing if not resilient, so the future is bright for the University of Idaho, and I will share a few of the many reasons why this is true. We started this year, actually my second official day, by cutting $14 million from the fiscal 2020 budget. This was made necessary after two back-to-back -back years of $20 million losses. We were on track to cut these operating deficits in half to about $10 million this year before COVID-19 struck. By fiscal year 2022, if we execute on our plans, the deficit would have been completely eliminated except for the impact of COVID-19 and any further State of Idaho financial holdbacks. Make no mistake, we're making difficult decisions to get there. A perfect storm of budget cuts, a tuition freeze, and additional cuts from the state, not to mention the still unknown losses and costs associated with COVID-19, all add up to financial challenges that are significant. However, we are keeping our eye on the strategic areas of excellence and making changes in our budget processes so that we can invest where there is growth potential for enrollment and in research that matters. We are in a new reality. There really are no words for me to convey just how inspired I have been watching our faculty and staff address this pandemic to ensure our students are still being served and finishing out the semester. This was a seven days a week, morning into night endeavor to transition the campus for this dramatic change from on-site to online learning. It has been swift, intense, and of course extremely disappointing for all of us who would much prefer to be together here in Moscow and at our centers around the state in Coeur d'Alene, Boise, and Idaho Falls. However, our faculty, staff, students, and even parents of our students are adjusting with grace and a positive outlook. It didn't take long to see the value the University of Idaho brings during a crisis, and that made our Vandal family proud. Our Institute for Modeling Collaboration and Innovation got to work modeling the virus and looking for ways to strategically respond to prevent its spread. Project ECHO leveraged its telehealth model to help our state's doctors and healthcare professionals identify, treat, and protect themselves and others from the spread of the virus. Literally hundreds in the healthcare community have benefited from ECHO training since the pandemic made it to Idaho. Masks of all sorts, both 3D printed and cloth, have been made across the campus as we stocked up for this fight. And the old campus club, which is now Targi Hall, was cleaned and prepped for Gritman Medical Center to house staff, doctors, nurses, and other healthcare providers. Like the rest of the world, we are doing our part and we will come out of this with a new sense of purpose. My sense of purpose is ever more resolute when I think about the tremendous impact the University of Idaho has had on the state, the region, the planet, not to mention the transformation that takes place for our students. Let me talk about our students first. This year we have focused our efforts to enrich the Vandal Promise Scholarships. This need-based scholarship helps fill the $5,000 gap many students face in the cost of attendance. We've helped two dozen students fill that gap this year. This group had a 100% retention rate and an average overall GPA of 3.56. These students are ambitious, like April Peterson of Boise. April wants to be a veterinarian, but wasn't sure she could move from home because of the cost. 
She qualified for the Vandal Promise and has been excelling in her freshman year. Dylan Storm of Moscow is another of our scholars, a former U.S. Army Ranger and a single dad who's returning to school to study computer science. These students can worry less about the cost of college and focus on their studies. Thanks to Blue Cross of Idaho and other donor pledges, we will more than double our Vandal Promise scholars next fall to about 50 students. The Vandal Promise speaks to one of our core values that is embedded in our land-grant mission. That is accessibility. Accessibility is why we offer $30 million in scholarships and waivers every year to our students. The size of the scholarships vary, but I want to call attention to one in particular, our Chobani Scholars. Each scholar receives $20,000, and our first group of four students is thriving. They are courteous and thoughtful students in addition to being hardworking and high achieving in their coursework, with an average GPA well above 3.8. I also want to give a shout out to our student athletes who continue to compete while keeping their grades above 3.0. Athletic Director Terry Golick is navigating our university through this unknown pandemic territory that is seriously affecting all of college athletics. The impact on our women's basketball team was felt when they lost their chance to play in the final Big Sky Tournament game against Montana State University, an accomplishment they earned and deserved. Someone forgot to tell them that in the preseason, most experts ranked them in the middle of the pack. This was a smart, gritty, hardworking team. This was a team with heart. This was a team with a will to win. I will always consider them champions. Let's talk about research. We continue to break records. The $113 million in research expenditures last year is yet another increase and positions the University of Idaho to lead collaborative research across the state of Idaho with industry, federal and state agencies, as well as our sister universities. Our research impacts every corner of our state and some of it is quite literally out of this world. For example, our own researcher, Jason Barnes, is a co-leader on a team of 35 scientists working around the globe to send a robotic rotorcraft lander to Saturn's largest moon, Titan. Closer to home, University of Idaho research also significantly impacts our communities. Agriculture is a $16 billion industry in the state of Idaho, and we offer both relevant support and monitoring through our research and extension centers that serve every county in the state. In addition, we recently invigorated the Center for Agriculture, Food, and the Environment or as we call it, CAFE, headquartered in the Magic Valley, with investments from state, industry partners, and the university. We are already doing research in Rupert, where we will build the nation's largest research dairy. There's no doubt in my mind CAFE will make a huge impact on our state's dairy industry, the third largest in the nation, and will be groundbreaking in its approach. We also work well with our government partners. At Idaho Fish and Game, our work is helping efficiently determine the state's wolf population. At INL, it's modeling new scale reactors and strengthening our state's cybersecurity defenses. I'm proud to announce that we are expanding our cybersecurity degree program with the help of a new $2.5 million donation from Schweitzer Engineering Laboratories that will fund research, faculty, and grad student assistance. I want to share my deep gratitude for SEL's generous investment and support of our College of Engineering. Much of the work done in cybersecurity at INL SEL, and around the region is in collaboration with several of our sister institutions. Further statewide university collaborations led by the University of Idaho include Enbury, supporting biomedical research among both public and private colleges and universities in the state, as well as a federally funded Idaho EPSCoR collaboration that continues to analyze how Idaho sagebrush and trout are adapting to changing environments. These are only a few examples of the impressive research we conduct. Plus, we are currently looking at steps to map out a plan to reach R1 research status as an institution, a move that would bring more research dollars into the state that would benefit all of our institutions of higher learning. Student success and research are two of the three main strategic focus areas I've emphasized from day one. I could spend our entire time together talking about both, but I also want to talk about my third area of focus, telling our vandal story. Through generous private donations from some of our most loyal alumni, we've embarked on a marketing effort around the state and region that includes bus wraps, billboards, digital media, and two television spots 
showcasing our commitment to the state. Sometime this summer, you will begin to see some grain bins, barns, and other locations displaying vandal colors. I hope you have noticed our efforts, and you can expect more. I do my part by telling the story of our great university at every opportunity, but it's up to all of us to tell our story. Alumni, current students, faculty, and staff, you all can help share your story of what it means to be a vandal. Our enrollment management team members have become visible ambassadors of higher education through our Enroll Idaho tours. The program started in January and builds excitement for higher education through a message highlighting how college makes us all healthier, wealthier, and wiser. We are all ambassadors. It's on us to be informed and effective recruiters. That's the motivation behind telling our story, to continue the Vandal legacy for future generations. And this year, and at this time, it could not be more critical. We all know our secret weapon is a visit to campus. It's our competitive advantage. When a prospective student sees and experiences this place, they know it's special. Unfortunately, this spring, our normal cycle of on-campus visits will not be possible. Great work has been done to pivot and increase our personalized outreach to potential students via phone, email, social media, and a newly launched virtual campus tour. Again, telling our story in the most effective and creative ways is our focus, and every one of you can help. The current situation between the budget and this virus creates stress and tears at our social fabric. It's hard now, but it won't be forever. Years from now, we'll look back on this as a time when we were tested. We can be proud that what we found was that the Vandal family is indeed brave and bold. We already know many of our strengths. We're ranked in the top 6% of all public universities and colleges in the nation and one of the best values in the country by U.S. News & World Report. We are also one of the best college towns in the country and one of the safest. And the list goes on. But in the past few weeks, I've also learned a lot about the strength of our Vandal community. And I'm here to tell you I work with some of the most hardworking, devoted, and innovative people anywhere. I'm talking about the faculty who have worked to completely change course delivery in record time, and the students whose lives were upended but adjusted and stayed positive. I'm talking about our dedicated staff who put in long hours to make our facilities safe, to push out information that is factual and helpful to our community, and rearrange our entire campus life to make the temporary adjustments workable for the students who remained here. I'm talking about our alumni who responded by sending financial help to our students and helping us reach out to potential students when we had to close our campus. This is the real story of the state of our university. To all vandals everywhere, your University of Idaho is in the hands of a devoted faculty, an inspiring student body, hardworking staff, and passionate, dedicated alumni. This is why I'm confident that we will make it to the other side of these challenges and be stronger for it. As I walk around our quiet campus, I look forward to the day when it will again be bustling with students, faculty, and staff. I look forward to welcoming alumni back to our beautiful campus. And I also look forward to working with all of you as we continue to solve the problems for the world around us, improve lives through a transformational experience for our students, and showcase our contributions to the state. Your University of Idaho creates a significant return on investment to the citizens of Idaho and plays a critical role in the future prosperity of our state. The Vandal family must ensure everybody knows it. We are made by Idaho, in Idaho, and for Idaho. Thank you, take good care, keep calm, and Vandal on.